Within this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the latest Sea of Thieves dev stream. Stay tuned. This was another Rare From Home stream. The host this week was John McFarlane, head of video and creator engagement, joined at home by executive producer Joe Nate. The special guest this week was Behaving Beardly, a streamer on Twitch and content creator for YouTube. The other staff members mentioned helping out during the stream were Jordan helping out in the chat. The goal of this week was to sail around doing Reaper emissary things. A total of nine obsidian gift sets were given away. During the stream, the following things were spoken about. Joe can read chat now. Why don't they play on a galleon? They just prefer the brig. The next update should be the end of May-ish, which will be focusing around bugs and quality of life changes, as well as adding a few Chronicle event items. There will be a new merch store soon. The Obsidian Hull will be available in the next Athena's Fortune stream. John has started his own streaming channel. There isn't a release date as yet for Steam, however, it isn't far away. Joe said that they hope to announce the date within the next week or two. They've had to completely redo the voice chat for crossplay and will put a frequently asked questions on their website and on Steam soon. Basically, make sure your Steam account is linked to your Xbox account in order to port the game over. The water barrel bug should be fixed within the next patch, as well as some adjustments to the hit registration that they are always working on in order to make it better. The Wild Rose Tall Tale was inspired in part by the Titanic movie. When will Rare return to the studio? Joe said they don't know, just basically whenever it's safe to do so, they will. Their favourite island to design for Joe, it was Thieves Haven and Old Faithful. Thieves Haven because it was the stereotypical island for pirates to hide out, including a place for your ship to hide. Old Faithful because it has turned out to be one of the most annoying islands for people to uh, navigate around and this was intentional. Throughout the stream, they headed straight into a PvP situation and spent the rest of the stream attempting to sail towards various islands for more supplies. In total, they sunk four ships, killed 12 pirates that were confirmed as being killed. However, sometimes it was a little difficult to tell if they had killed more. Two Megalodons appeared around them. One of them spawned on them. The other one spawned on one of the ships they were chasing, a regular and a crested queen, both of which were avoided. Overall, it was a good stream if you're someone who likes watching the devs have fun while playing the game and involved in PvP. However, that's all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Aussie accent. Share the video with your friends so we all stay informed. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hope you're having a lovely day. Till next time.